monkey cooking. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to make some macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> and no, not the craft crap from the box. Um, all I have here in my pan is just some boiling water. And when you're making pasta, the only time you really get to season the actual pasta is in the water when it's boiling. I like to put a fair amount of salt in my water. You can taste it. Um, I kind of know how much to put in there now, but you want it to taste a little bit like seawater. I don't like it quite as potent as seawater, but I want that flavor coming upon in the water so that the pasta gets a nice, you know, flavor. Today I'm just going to be using some little medium shell things here. Um, I don't know. They will, uh, take about eight to nine minutes to cook or so. Um, should be pretty easy. Just gonna pour them in here. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. One important thing to do with pasta is you want it to get it moving again once you get it in the water. The salt also helps the pasta not stick together when it's in there. And usually you want to use as big of a bowl as you possibly can when it comes to boiling water because pasta loves space. Um, so the quicker you get this stirring around again, the faster it's going to come back up to a boil. Now you can't put some oil on top of this. The only thing the oil is going to do though is reduce the surface tension so that you can keep it at a higher heat and it's not going to bubble over. It really isn't going to do anything for the pasta whatsoever. Um, but when you put it on top you'll notice that it kind of helps do a little cover there. and um, So that we can keep this at a higher heat so that it starts cooking. So it's 8.30 at night now. It's a Thursday if you care. I'm going to let this cook up. I'm not going to make you watch it because that would be boring as hell. Anyhow, we'll be back. Alright, well, the <clears throat> pasta has actually been on here for straight up 8 minutes and it's done. I know it's done because I tasted it. Some people say you throw it up against the wall and if it sticks it's finished. That's just crap. Um, it might stick to your wall, but if you really want to know if it's done or not to your taste, just take a piece out and taste it. So I'm going to strain this and then I'll be back. Okay, I got the pasta straining. You want to make sure that you shake shells pretty well because water tends to hide inside of there. Um, I've got two tablespoons of butter. I'm using some half and half to kind of help bind the, uh, the cheese that we're going to use here. I use half and half because I just don't want full cream. You can use skim milk if you want, it doesn't really matter. But uh, got my heat on a medium high. I want to get this going. Um, I just want to melt this butter down first. Now you can use pretty much any kind of cheese you want for this. Um, we tried this last weekend and uh, we used this very nice aged cheddar and horse head white American to try to be all fancy schmancy and well crafts classic melts may sound odd but it tastes better um, this is the four cheese kind it's got a blend of American cheese with Wisconsin sharp cheddar a Vermont white cheddar and a Monterey Jack um, I know it kinda sounds a little funny but it's good <laughs> and it does a better job than the other stuff uh, I'm use the whole bag here it's a 
two cup bag. Turn the uh, heat down a little bit to a medium because I want to get this nice and blended in here. It's all going to come together really nicely here. You see we've got a nice thick cheese sauce here. Just to make this a little bit better, I've got a, uh, a smoked Spanish paprika. This is from my favorite place, Penzi's. Um, just adds a nice little taste to it. Um, a really good flavor. And these are some Aleppo peppers, which are not really spicy, but they, they've got a good, uh, very good taste for me. They come from Turkey. From Penzi's also. All right, everything's melted down. I just turned off the heat. Let me get the shells here. And go the shells. Just fold these in. Very cheesy. Because, as you know, I'm a black pepper freak. And add some black pepper here. It smells so good. I would taste it before you put any more salt in there because we literally salted the pasta when it was being made. So, there we go. It's 8.43. It's uh, quick macaroni and cheese in 15 minutes or less. So, I'm going to go eat this now. Or at least some of it because that's a lot. Y'all have fun out there. Nah, see? Nah, monkeys. Damn dirty monkeys. Nah.